Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and today is the first day we are staying overnight in our camper van. After spending the past couple of weeks working hard on our self-built van, it was time to take it on the road and test out what we'd done so far. From seeing how comfortable our bed is, to how practical our toilet situation will be. In this video, you will see some of the highs and the lows of our first night in the van. Today is a day that we have been dreaming about for months. We will be sleeping in the van for the first ever time. It's finally <laughs> happening! <laughs> So it hasn't actually been finished yet, no. but we need to drive to Wales to get a heater installed and we have to be there for 9am. Yeah, and it's a few hours to get there, so we thought why not take this opportunity to actually have our first ever night in the van. We have the bed installed, that's the most important bit. <laughs> um, I can't stop looking back to see I it. Know. <laughs> We have booked a campsite for tonight just to kind of ease our way into van life a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hit the road and try and smash through until we can get there, hopefully before it gets dark. Is there a better feeling than singing at the top of your lungs, <laughs> just songs at the start of a road trip? Please leave in the comments what is your ultimate road trip music? Yes, let's make a playlist. Yes, so <laughs> for us at the moment we're listening to like Jerry Cinnamon and uh, Oasis and like classic <laughs> British classic music. <laughs> have somehow massively lucked out and we have found the most idyllic little camp spot. I am so chuffed that we got this place. There's no one else here, we're the only ones, so all we can hear are just the birds chirping and geese in the background. It's so perfect for our first night away. Now that we're allowed to travel around the UK, one of the things we have to think about is the fact that we're only allowed to stay at places with self-contained facilities, meaning any shared toilets or bathrooms aren't allowed. So when it comes to staying in a camper van, that means you're either going to have to go out into nature or you're going to have to have your own toilet. And one of the things that Al and I really wanted from our previous trips in camper vans was to have our own toilet in the van. So I present to you our brand Brand new toilet for our camper van. This is the Kildwick Microloo and it is just about tiny enough to fit in our lovely tiny van. You can buy them pre-built on their website or you can do what I did which is buy the flat pack DIY version and do it all yourself. We decided to go for the composting toilet for the main reason being that we heard that the cassette toilets can be absolutely vile <laughs> when it comes to emptying them whereas everyone just seems to sing praises about compost loos um i'll show you how it works so inside here you basically have a separator inside the bowl this is unused by the way <laughs> <laughs> we had to film this before we possibly need to use it in the night <laughs> yeah exactly i am a nighttime weir so um you have two parts of the toilet you have the the wee section and the twosies section so you need to be accurate with your, <laughs> with your, with your ones and twos so this means guys sit down wees that's all you're allowed or obviously just go outside and wee it's not that hard um so yeah this i'll open it all up and show you how it works so you get like a little batten thing to help you open it because it's like super strong magnets on the sides holding everything in place and i like that you get like a proper seat with it as well Okay, so that just pops up like so. So as you can see, this is where all the weed kind of funnels down and this is the bigger space for twosies. Um, so if you look inside... <laughs> I'm just thinking of the poor beans eating their breakfast. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so this one, there's two sections where everything goes. So that is where the twosies goes. And that's for onesies. After you've done your business, you just screw that up and then you can empty that wherever. So the first thing with the the twosy part of the toilet is they have compostable waste bags that you line the, the tub with. Um, and then inside of that, 
they give you these kind of wood chips that go inside and that's supposed to be kind of smell neutralizing <laughs> um and yeah and then you just basically tie up the bag and throw it away wherever you can and that's it so if anyone else is interested in the Kildrick Microloo, they do other sizes as well. So if you have like a bigger van, they do bigger size toilets. Um, just check the link in the description down below. I don't want you guys going around thinking the beans are just taking dumps inside the van where they live all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I want to just lay this out there. This is an emergency thing because it's just always good to have an emergency. <laughs> I suffer with IBS. Too much information. I've said it in previous <laughs> videos, so <laughs> Aim of the nighttime we are. We're just saying <laughs> We're just putting a disclaimer in, alright? Like I'm not lying in bed and Emma's just at the end. Like we respect each other's boundaries and <laughs>We're trying to go on a walk right now, but it's not going very well because we keep stopping because every time we get a little glimpse of our van, we're stopped to take photos. <laughs> it must be like parents when you know when you catch your parents watching you sleep. I, I don't think when you're 33 years old <laughs> and you're like, Dad, get out of my room. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like taking photos of their babies. I'm like, well, okay, yeah. <laughs>
really cold last night. I think it got down to zero degrees. Yeah. But I was pretty toasty, all wrapped up in our bed. Yeah, I thought it was going to be worse. It was cold mm. as we were going to bed. Yeah. But then just woke up and it was the morning. Yeah, it's great. And yeah, we woke up with the sunrise at like 6 a.m. So that was really nice as well. Just like blazing in bed and watching the sun come up. So the plan of action this morning is to get up, get dressed, get coffee, more importantly, and make our way over to Auto Term, who are fitting us with a brand new diesel heater today, which I cannot wait for. No more chilly nights for us. <laughs> We've dropped the van off to get our heater installed and it's in this amazingly beautiful rural location. And so Alex and I thought while they're installing it, let's go for a little walk, see some of the countryside. So we followed one of the public footpaths here and <laughs> we've come to a head. <laughs> we saw this field of cows and as soon as we walked up to the fence, they all came up to like swarming the fence. But we just realized <laughs> That's part of the footpath. Now I'm terrified to go in there. They, <laughs> they're like bouncers oh, now. Like, like they're trying to get at us. <laughs> Hello. Who would go through that? Would you confidently walk <laughs> through these guys? Look at them all. Oh, okay. Run at it. So maybe this is how we clear the space to do our walk. Come on. Move along, move along. <laughs> Go. I'm so confident. Confidently walking. Have you seen Alfred Hitchcock movie Birds? Because of the final scene when she's walking out and there's just all the birds around. This is what it feels like, the way that they're just staring at us. <laughs> Honestly, for anyone who's thinking of visiting the UK and wondering when to come, now, now is the time to come. Spring in the UK, it's magical. Look at this. I'm in like a fairy tale forest with bluebells around me. Oh, I, I would not pick anywhere else that I'd rather be right now in springtime. This is just astounding. The magic of nature just absolute beggars belief. We have just been stood dumbfounded for about 10 minutes while we watch the reflection melt away like a Dali painting. <laughs> That's such a good way of describing Like, I hope the camera can capture that. Like, you need some class A drugs to see what we just saw. <laughs> and we're sober. <laughs> this is why we have the van. We got our diesel heater fitted and it fits in very snugly right under the driver's seat. So there's plenty of other space to utilize. So we don't have the electrical setup yet, so no. we can't actually properly use it. They showed us how it's going to work. They have used their own leisure battery so we can test it out. It feels great. It feels amazing. I have high hopes for this. We do actually have a discount if people are interested. We do. But if you want to wait until we have actually tested it out and given our own review on it. That's fair then... enough too. But 5% off down in the description below. I believe the code is BEANS5 for 5% off, so go check that out. So that's it from us. We have survived our first night. It was as good as I could have possibly imagined. It was, it was brilliant. Wine spillage and all. <laughs> Being able to go and see the nature things as well today just was like, this is why we're doing this. That was a cherry oh. on the cake, that was. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to leave a comment as well. We are new to this van life thing. Yes, we've hired vans in the past, but we haven't lived in a van like this. So if you have any van life tips or UK spots that are really great and that we should go and check out, leave that in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out! <laughs> next time on Travel Beans, we make our way down to the Brecon Beacons where we meet some fellow vloggers and van lifers.